Molly. And he's gonna bet and a re-raise. All in, of course, by Josh. He's trapped him. Well, Max cannot call again, I don't think. What can he really beat here? Except a possible flush draw, but. Mm, you have an eight, I guess. Actually, I don't guess. I think you have an eight. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. There you see the chip counts. Max Steinberg out in front with 6.5 million. Ali Islami on the short stack right now. That's what they're playing for. 500,000 goes to the winner. Plus a coveted entry into the WPT World Championship at the end of the season and getting your name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup. Yeah, it's all on the line. Andy's a 20,000. Blinds a 60 and 120. Let's go to Max Steinberg. Looks a little like Donnie Osmond. And he's our chip leader right now. He's got an 8-6 of hearts. Well, Max, a 24-year-old poker pro out of Washington, D.C. Could have been the first one out. Caught a jack on the river to stay alive. And here he is, our chip leader. He's going to raise it right up to 350,000. Ralph Malik, poker pro out of L.A. Formerly Texas goes out. And now Josh Hale. And he's got the pair of fours. The question is, do you re-raise with the small pair? Do you just call to see a flop? What do you do? Josh is a working man, a headhunter recruiter down in San Diego, California, a non-professional poker player. And he's going to call with the fours, not raise. Next to call, Ali Islami, top pro from L.A. going out. And we're going to see a flop. Ace, nine, eight, two clubs. Yeah, Max has hit a pair of eights. Josh is going to check. Looks like Max is going to bet bottom pair here. He's only played two WPT events ever. His first cash, of course, here at the final table. And he's going to bet this 545. Why am I so bad? Well, this is Josh. It's his first ever WPT event. And he came to the final table as chip leader. And he's still here with four left. Uh, Max, you benefit from the fact I play like a little girl. He cannot compete any longer. Mucks his hand. And Max Steinberg is going to take down this pot and extend his chip lead. Max also has a brother who's an identical twin. Also plays poker, and now there's the Champions Cup. All the winners in the history of the World Poker Tour have their name engraved on that trophy. And that's where you want your name engraved, folks. Back to the table, Ralph put fold and Josh down. The seven five of clubs. Get those suited cards you'd like to see flops with. And he's just called. Well, he limps in. And Ali Islami now with a small pair here. I'm on. Ali's on the short stack, as you can see, yeah. by the little red indicator next to his hand there. All right. He's going all in with a small pair. It's about that time now. Max Steinberg, our chip leader, has a very attractive king jack of diamonds. This could be it. He might have to stick around. Because he knows Ali's a top pro. And the guy limped in in front of him. Ali could be making this move with not much of a hand. That's right. The old squeeze play. Therefore, Max thinking about calling here with the King Jack. He's got the chip lead. I call. Nothing more to yeah. take Ali out of this tournament. Going to make the call. Well, they may have a chance to do it. Josh goes out. And they show the hands. Sorry, Ali. I can't leave the flip. Well, apparently I can't get knocked out, so I'm going to see how it goes. Well, it's come we'll down to the, another race at this final table. The, uh, Max with the two over cards, Ali with the two deuces. Ali Islami has been on Mr. Toad's wild ride here That's all night long. Flop, this yeah. could be over for him. Here we go with the flop. Well, Max has hit his kings just like that as King Queen 4 appears. If I do my poker math right, that puts you at a solid favorite. Max right. Steinberg hitting what he you wants know, tonight. So far, so I'm great. For Way out in front. Maybe you're right. Uh, the King Jack fast becoming his favorite. King Diamond 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 for sure. Comes the turn. It's an ace. I pulled the ace. Did you? Out of my two out. Did you call? Must catch a deuce to win the pot, Ali Islami, or he'll be our fourth place finisher. Yeah, he has fought back so beautifully tonight. Red. Could this be the end of his dream here? Oh, two, three. Oh, well, it's a five. Okay. So that's going to do it for Ali Islami. Okay, thank you. Mm. Out 
in fourth place, but Mets, you have to admit the guy put up a great fight. Came back from virtually nothing to get four and a half million chips. Unfortunately, didn't go his way after that. Man, he was the comeback kid tonight. Almost had the dream working. He's going to take over 133,000, and right now he's over talking to Matt Savage. Well, a pretty wild ride tonight. A uh, big hand he lost earlier on and for, got down to 100,000. Back up to almost a chip lead. Tell us about it. I mean, it was an absolutely wild ride. If this doesn't make for a good show, I don't know what will. Uh, it was it was great fun. And I really thought when I built back from that that I, I had a shot to win this thing. I did have a shot, I guess. But uh, got a little bit uh, unlucky at the end there. Well, you picked up a little more TV time than the last time. Mike and Vince got to say a few nice things about you. I'm sure we'll see you at another final table soon. Kimberly, back to you. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. I believe me. Smiles as he folds his hand oh, oh. and now on to our chip leader, Max Steinberg with a 6-5. And it's the battle of the blind here. Max trying to figure out what he wants to do. To limp in, to call, to fold. He's going to limp in, make the call. This is Ralph Malik, who has played impeccably this evening so far. A lot of steals. Is content to see a flop, no raise. He's got the 9-3 offsuit, so happy to see a free flop. Probably happy to see that flop as it comes queen, queen, nine. Action's on Max. Now he is going to lead right out and bed here. Yes, he is, 225. Ralph not going for that. Going to call him with the two nines. You can see the concerned look on Max's face once he got called there. Now an eight comes off, so a little scare card, and it, it is a straight possibility out there now. Max is going to check. In fact, Max has a gut shot straight draw. Seven would give him a straight. And Ralph with the Queens and nines. And he's going to try to torture Max a little bit more. Bet's 325. And he thinks he's got the best hand, that's why he's betting. And in fact, he does have. Max goes away. So nice ball on the turn there by Ralph. Well, I'm impressed by Ralph. He plays just junk hands, and he plays them well, makes things happen. And there's Justin Smith, another top cash game pro, two-time WPT final tableist. Action on Max. Action on our chip leader. And that's what's incredible to me is the three elite players with the most experience, the high stakes cash game players and all, were eliminated in sixth, fifth, and fourth place here. It's these three guys fighting it out for the title. Well, it makes sense to me. But right now, Max Steinberg has raised, makes it 425 with his king high. And Ralph with a 9-7 of diamonds. It's incredible. Two of these guys are playing their first ever WPT event. One's playing in his second. Ralph is going to call this with his 9-7, and now Josh Hale, former chip leader, is also going to call with a, just a 6-7. Well, he's getting priced in, so we got three-way action here. Now flop comes King, Jack, three. Max spiking the Kings. Yep, great flop for Max. And Ralph is going to check, Josh is going to check, and top pair man, will he make the continuation bet? You would think so, but interesting, not. Hey. Can't believe he didn't bet there, man. Ace on the turn. And there's a possible straight out there. Somebody could have two deuces where you give him a free card to oh, beat you. Thanks. Just shocked he didn't bet the Kings, but let's see what happens. Very surprising. Well, again, it's gone check, check to him. So now he must think the Kings are good. Nobody bet when the Ace hit. Nobody bet when the King hit. Yep, and now he's going to put out 750000 into Ralph with absolutely nothing. He has no hand, no draw. Two million straight. And he is check raising the two million oh, here. Can you believe this? Josh going out. Well, let me tell you something about this, Ralph. 
He is not afraid to play the game. We saw him bluff with a four deuce early on and be successful with it, and he's trying it again. Raising with zip and pip. Yeah, he came over the top of the three bet with a four deuce for all his dough once. Here he's check raised to two million with no hand and no draw. And really, I don't know how Max can go any farther here. Max has got to be kicking himself, saying, what did I just create? I set myself up, and now I've got a horrible decision to make. I don't understand how you can check the flop and then bet the turn. Yeah, you're right. And he cannot call, so Ralph Malik has pulled off another huge bluff. Just a lot of guts. This is a guy that came from Texas to play poker in L.A., to play in the big time, and he is doing it here tonight. He's the star at the table right now. No, you got to be able to play some, or you wouldn't get this far. Oh, he can play a lot. This guy's a very clever player. I'm impressed. And right now, Max Steinberg first up to act. He's got a7, 24-year-old. This is only his second WPT event. His first cash, of course. Going to raise on the button here with the a7. And Rao finally going to fold a hand. 425,000. And Josh with the jack nine call. will make this call. So A7 in against Jack-9. Josh trying to hit some kind of flop. Let's come Ace-Queen-Jack. Josh has flopped bottom pair, but unfortunately for him, Max has flopped top pair. Josh is checking, and Max looks like he's getting out the continuation bet. He's hit his aces. He's going to push in 425,000. Josh Hale, though, will make this call. Josh just wants to test the water one more time and see what happens. Six of spades on the turn, helping either player. Action on Josh, he checks again. Max is gonna give him a free card, but it's okay if you're Max. Three of clubs on the river. Josh gonna check. A possible flush and a possible straight throw out there. Surprised Max checked on the turn, but it's obvious he's now got the best hand when his opponent checks again on the river. Max is going to bet now 650000 as a little value bet, and he's going to get called off. Well, call. Josh hoping he's got something like 9-10 where he's drawing it up and down straight. That's not the case. He's got the aces. And again, Josh not thrilled with the way he played that hand. Well, he had a feel, but Max wasn't that strong. He was incorrect that time, and he has to pay for it. We're in the wee hours here at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles. What an event we've seen all week long. Action on Ralph Malik. 35-year-old, first WPT event ever. He plays with almost anything, and this time with a jack, six of spades is gonna raise the 300,000. Josh is folded, and now Max with an ace jack is just gonna call. I'm surprised he doesn't raise here, knowing a guy could raise with a lot of different hands on the button. Well, the flop comes up 10-9 deuce. Max has nothing now, though. The opponent bets here are going to be hard to continue with ace high. Max with his ace high is just going to check. And Ralph with nothing is going to make the continuation bet of 325. Look at this. Max just feels like his ace jack is the best hand. And it is. Yeah, he has made the call. Pretty incredible. Turn card is a king of hearts. Now both players have a gut shot straight draw. Queen would give him a straight, of course. Give Max the best hand possible, but again, it goes check, check here. Yep, Ralph not going to push there, and down to the river we go. Oh, the queen comes off. Holy mackerel. This is going to spell trouble for Ralph. He's made the king high straight. Unfortunately, his opponent's made the ace high straight. Oh, man, Max has the nuts. Now well, he's going to lead out and bet. He's got a guy that has, oh man, this could be very, very interesting. Max is going to lead 900,000, Mike. Now, even if you're sitting in Ralph's seat here, you're thrilled that you made the king high straight. But if you think rationally, you know a raise is not going to do you any good because there's no chance your opponent's going to call you unless you're beat. I mean, unless he's got a jack in his hand, which means you're not gaining any value. But he's doing it. He is betting three million here. And now you know Max is going to go all in, obviously, with the best hand possible. He is just licking his chops right now. I'm on one. There he goes. He is going all in, and now Ralph has put himself in a horrible place. Well, Vance, it's pretty easy I if call. you think about it. Oh, he's calling it. Really? It's a bad, bad mistake by Ralph here. It's going to break Ralph. Cost him the tournament, Vance. He's going out in third place. He was playing the best at the table all night long. He compounded his mistakes in that hand. 
You shouldn't raise even though you made the king eye straight there because your opponent can never pay you off unless right. you got a jack in his hand. Absolutely right. When he raises you back, he must have an ace jack. You have to have the discipline to throw the jack eye away the straight away. He didn't do it, and he's out. That's how it goes. Good oh, end. He's got to be a third place finisher. He's going to pick up 192,000. He's in a total state of shock, and right now, he's talking to Matt Savage. Rob, kind of a tough ending to an incredible night for you. All of these players, to a man, said that you were one of the toughest to read, a player that they never knew where you were at. What do you think? You know, I'm new to the live, I guess, tournament scene. I've been playing cash games for a while and then online. But uh, yeah, a lot of these people, I guess, don't know me. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can keep playing some of these and continue to have some success. Appreciate it. Well, I really think you earned a lot of respect here tonight on the final table. I'm sure we're going to see you again on the World Poker Tour. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Kimberly, back to you. Max Steinberg is the chip leader with 13.8 in chips, just down to about 4.8. He's going to take home 500,000, runner up about 300. And now the ante's at 25,000, but the blinds are up to one and wow. 200,000. Here we go. Max to look down first to act. <laughs> He's got a nothing hand. But does he have the guts to raise with it? Apparently, yes. Makes it 500,000. Well, these guys have Bill Hickok sweating their play here, Max. Yes, they that's do. Now look at this. Josh with ace queen just says all in, and that's going to work very nicely in hand number one of the heads of battle. It's time for a giveaway at WPT Global. Get a free $50 added to your account. Simply follow these three steps. Go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT. Make a new account with bonus code YT73 and make a deposit. That's it. $50 will be added to your account. We have turned around here at the bike. The hand we go, Josh, now with a pair of nines, just like that. Well, hitting some cards right now, and what a time to hit them. Playing heads up for a WPT title. Oh. Going to make it 500,000 to go. Max going to peek down at a king seven off suit. He's got to be stinging from that last hand. Yeah, he's been tripping over himself a little bit here in this heads up battle. Nothing seemingly going right for him so far. He's just a card away from the championship. Wow. Now he's going to raise with the king seven. Yeah, like 1.3 million. Yes, I think with two nines, you just ship it. He's going to look Come on. down, and there he goes, all in. If the guy's got a bigger pair than you, he's just got a bigger pair. And that is too much heat, Mike. Mucks his hand. So another 1.3 million. Max Wilkes away there. Uh, Josh Hale on quite a roll in this heads up battle. But Vince, he is holding over the other guy. Definitely getting a good run of cards at the right time. All right. Play goes to Max this time. He picks up ace high. Just an ace three. Caps his cards. And he's going to press. Makes it 500,000. Josh with yet another pair. Well, he's supposed to get a pair once out of 17 deals playing hold him. Had two nines the last pot, picks up two sixes this pot, but this time just opts to call. Oh. Gonna see a slop. All right, mixing his game up pretty well. Let's see if it works for him. And flop comes eight, wow. deuce, deuce. Josh out in front with the two sixes. He's gonna check. Now Max, of course, not hitting anything there. Well, but then you think the ace high, probably the best hand here. Yep. Think your opponent would have re raised you if he had a pair in his hand? I don't blame him for betting here. His opponent could easily have something like Queen 10. You hate to give him a free card to beat you. Oh, yeah. Continuation bet in order right now. Mullen. And he's going to bet and a re-raise. All in, of course, by Josh. He's trapped him. Well, Max cannot call again, I don't think. What can he really beat here? Except a possible flush draw. But... Mm, you have an eight, I guess. Actually, I don't guess. I think you have an eight. Pretty close. About the same thing. Not quite. Yeah, he definitely have an eight. Okay, definitely wrong, but a yeah, good laydown. Oh. Yeah. And Josh Hale's going to take down another one. Well, he widens that chip lead. Now has over 15 million in chips. Max down to just about 3 million. So let's see if Max can turn things around the way Josh did. 
Incredible. Another big pair here for Josh. This time two jacks. Chris. He's going to make it 5.50 to go. But Max I'm has to super hand himself. Goes all over the base Well, all in and a snap call, of course. Doesn't matter who you are. You pick up either one of these hands playing heads up poker. You're going to get your money in the middle and hope for the best. <laughs> Max in a race situation for his tournament life. Remember before. It's pretty one. With six players left, he had to catch a king or a jack on the river to stay alive. Now he's got to win a race to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. I'm having so much fun. I want to keep playing. <laughs> All right. Ace in the door. No. Ooh. Well, it's coming eight, eight, nine. Well, so Josh. far, so good for Josh. He is out in front with the jacks. He's just got to dodge an ace or a king. Can he do it? The non-professional. Two running eights would also win it, obviously, for Max. But got this tournament in a $400 satellite with a huge chance here. And the five comes off. We are down to the river card. Max Steinberg needs to catch an ace or a king on the river to stay alive. Otherwise, we have a new legend here, Mike, at the bike. Here we go to the river. They are chanting his name. Josh Hale, one card away from being our champion. It's a jack. Josh Hale is my jack's fool on the river. You tell to take down the hand and become the Ladies of Poker champion. And Josh Hale getting mobbed by the Halebirds as they're running up Max Steinberg over the talk of Max Max, it's never easy. One card away from being the World Poker Tour champion at the Bet Legends of Bike. What's your thoughts right now? I'm just happy with uh, my results. I mean, if I went into this knowing that I was going to get second, I'd take it every time. So I'm happy with what I got. And Josh is a great player. And I felt like I played very well. And the, just the cards go that. Well, you got to love the attitude, Max. Congratulations. I'm sure we're going to see you again. Yeah, thank you, Matt. All right, back to you guys. Let's hear one more time. Josh Hale, Legend of Poker Champion from San Diego, California. Kimberly, back to you.